This week on StarCap, politicians in a pickle, Jamaicans vote in local polls, Julian Marley met dad for two minutes, mother struggles with bisexual sons, and in the Tell Me Pastor review, wish I could get my virginity back. Well go on, Star Fam, it's your brethren Kenrick, and welcome back to StarCap, a recap of the big stories that caught your attention this week. Two politicians found themselves in some boiling hot water, with one of them, Everald Warmington, losing his job as a cabinet minister. Prime Minister Andrew Holness came under pressure regarding these comments from Warmington. This is right now, I'm a minister of work. I'm a member of parliament. No PMP comes to the spend my money. Warmington has said his comments were misunderstood, adding they were made in the heat of the moment. Meanwhile, the PNP's Trelawney Northern caretaker, Dennis Meadows, also got in trouble after endorsing scamming. And I speak to the youth man named Paddy Carnival, especially one they will call themselves Chopper. Yeah. Yeah. Let me tell you straight up, I mean, can speak openly. I have no problem with a man if he want chop. Yeah. Because them chop us during slavery. Yeah. So not the wrong if we chop them up. The former senator's comments rocked Jamaica, with many wondering what prompted him to make such statements. Meadows was on Thursday sacked from his role as caretaker. It's almost as if Mark Golding said, Chop your get chop. After several delays, local government elections were held on Monday and the day was filled with activities. Jamaicans cast their votes across all 228 electoral divisions to determine who would serve as councillors and the mayor of Portmore for the next four years. Tensions heightened as the vote tally trickled in with no clear winner determined on election night. So, without question, the Jamaica Labour Party has won the uh, municipal elections, without question. We have shown that we have the capacity to deliver, to execute, and to achieve victory. And my heart is full because the PNP has come back as a strong, powerful force in this land again for the masses of the people and all Jamaica. However, after the final count, the Jamaica Labour Party, JLP, won seven municipal corporations versus the People's National Party's six. The PNP also won the Portmore mayoral race. The Electoral Office of Jamaica also came under fire as many thought the official counting process was taking way too long. Recently crowned Reggae Grammy winner Julian Marley has been creating waves across social media with new revelations. In case you weren't aware, Julian is the son of reggae legend Bob Marley. Bob sadly died when Julian was about five and as such he has very little memories of him. Going to Crystal Palace, um, which is a venue in London, you know. And he was performing for the uprising tour. You know? mm -hmm, mm -hmm. So I just remember going to the, the show with my mother and some friends and making our way backstage somehow. And I remember going into the dressing room, which was an outside tent, like a tent. I just remember going in and, you know, at four and five, you can't expect a little youth to sit down and observe everything no no, no absolutely so not. that's the thing i came in yeah i see the man stand up in a red gold and green jacket i went up to him like shake him hand and then <laughs> and we never see him again <laughs> really yeah because by the next you know by the next tour you know what i mean they were saying we were sick you know mm -hmm. what i mean so mm -hmm. well that was the time you know two minutes as far as i can remember i don't remember no more than two minutes but you remember he had on his red ring and gold yeah. jacket. Yeah. So that that little handshake, yeah, uh, uh, transcend some power. Yeah, yeah, uh, absolutely, power. definitely. Boy, coming at the handshake that did healthy the do a bob. 
A Kingston mother bared her soul before the parish court earlier this week as she accompanied her bisexual son to answer charges of robbery and assault. It is alleged that the young man, who is reportedly a crossdresser, was among a group of his peers who assaulted a man who was looking for the comfort of a prostitute in the corporate area. It is further reported that the man was robbed of 27,000 Jamaican dollars and 50,000 US dollars or approximately 7.8 million Jamaican dollars. He filed a complaint with the police and an investigation led to the arrest of the woman's son. The mother of Tool told the court things have been difficult for her as both of her sons are bisexual. While she's willing to live and take care of him, her other family members are not as understanding. The judge warned the young man about his lifestyle and granted him bail. He is to return to court on April 19th. In Tell Me Pasa this week, wish I could get my virginity back. This young woman is living with a whole heap of regrets. She grew up with loads of self-esteem issues which had a negative impact on her. Things started looking up for her at 18 when she found a boyfriend and started getting intimate. But as quickly as it started is as quickly as it ended. Now, almost a decade later, she wants to get married, but is afraid it won't work out because she isn't a virgin anymore. She wishes she could get her virginity back. Pastor, in his usual wisdom, told her to forgive herself and move on, as she cannot fix the past. What advice would you give this young woman, Starfam? Comment your thoughts below. And that's it for this week's StarCap. Remember to follow us on Facebook and Instagram at The Jamaica Star, and on X, formerly Twitter, at Jamaica Star. I'm Kenrick, and until next week, keep reading the star, the people paper.